very easy to lose sight of why we made the decision to leave our old life behind. Yep, we were sunken into a cloud of convenience and comfort. A steady income in the day and a numbing mass-produced entertainment to keep us distracted in the evenings, hooked into the matrix of monotony. Now, we're not fully detached from these links to our past. The digital age in which we live and work within makes it almost impossible to fully disconnect. The haptic tech distractions continue to grow and perhaps in some way we are guilty of contributing to your endless buzz of noise with some of our content. Rebecca and I are both Librans. We seek with attaining balance in our lives. Especially myself, this core element of my personality can lead to an intense focus on a project or goal, with everything else falling to the wayside. As much as I enjoy the process of filmmaking, the distribution and machine behind it is not conducive to my mental well-being. The catch-22 is that I enjoy the process, filming, editing, creating something out of nothing. What I do not like is the packaging of the film into a product. It must have the best cover shot and headline. You then anticipate the reviews to come in, thumbs up or down, the encouragement of competition with yourself and fellow creators. But you know it won't last forever, and soon you'll have to take another spin on the roulette wheel. What is the point I'm trying to make? Well, the effort to become happy never fully fulfills itself. To want what you already have. In order to truly find happiness, it's not about moving to another country, it's not about buying a new toy or having your video seen by millions of people. The idea is to become process orientated rather than goal orientated. The achievement is so brief, it's an idea before the moment and after, it's a memory. Nothing I made in this glaze firing came out as I had hoped and expected. The expected results of some of my films in recent months likewise. Finding a balance between an idealist and a pragmatist, the ability to have the time and space to create, but also the need to make money whilst trying to be fully content. It's a tightrope walk I take and often fall off. But the importance is not to give up, because the process is what defines happiness. The end result is not. I've began to sort the wood from the old barn frames into firewood and pieces I can reuse for projects down the road. They're full of old nails. As wood is quite expensive, including firewood, it's a time-consuming process, but it does save some cash. Before we put down a floor in the barn, I want to give the remaining beams, tiles and rafters a good clean as they are covered in algae and dirt. Quite an addictively satisfying but messy process.
you can see the difference between the clean wood and the other beam that's covered in algae. You want to pick some corn? Can you film the tomatoes? Unfortunately, it's at this point the pressure washer decided to stop working. Once all the work on the barn is complete, we will show you the entire renovation process in full. Next week, we have a fun video that should get you up to speed with everything else. See you then.